Welcome to Leighton House in Holland Park, one of my favourite places in London. Leighton House is the former home and studio of the leading Victorian artist, Lord Frederick Leighton. I love it because it's a very visual representation of wealthy Victorian collecting habits and the Orientalist taste, but in the most personal sense. It's a great place to be inspired by his fabulous use of tiles, ceramics and textiles, and how Islamic art offered at auction can be incorporated into your home. The 16th and 17th century tiles in here are the same as some held in the world's best museums. The vibrant uses of blues and greens along with the pictorial scenes and repeating tile patterns bring this room to life. You feel as if you are in one of the fabulous interiors of Istanbul or Damascus. Here are two tiles which we have in our upcoming sale on October 25th. The first is a Damascus tile of exactly the same type seen in this wonderful room. Its underglaze is painted in cobalt blue and turquoise blue, and the design is typical of Iznik pottery with the tulip heads and the chrysanthemums. And it would have been part of a larger repeating pattern like you see behind me. The other is a slightly later tile, and again would have been part of a larger pattern. Its luscious greens and purples are really compelling. Leighton also collected Isnik dishes as well as tiles. Here in the stairway hall, we have the gorgeous peacock blue backdrop of tiles made by William de Morgan, against which we see a cabinet filled with brightly colored Isnik dishes of the type Leighton would have owned. I have here two dishes from Rosebery's upcoming sale on October 25th. The first is a wonderful late 16th century example decorated with a ewer and flowers to the rim. The second example is a more affordable 19th century Isnik style dish produced probably in France or Italy to satisfy the craze for Isnik pottery. Leighton and his contemporaries would have been familiar with the flowers and themes of Isnik pottery and he perhaps would have delighted in testing his guests to see whether they could distinguish a 19th century dish from a much coveted 16th century example. The interiors at Leighton House were decorated with sumptuous Persian and Turkish carpets and textiles were equally an important feature of Leighton's carefully thought out interior decorating scheme. This beautiful textile behind me is an 18th century Epirus embroidery from Ottoman Greece and would have been the type of colorful textile Leighton brought back from his travels to decorate his home and enliven the grey London weather with beautiful reds and blues. These two stunning embroideries, which are in near perfect condition and are also Ottoman in 18th century, were used as hand towels for a wealthy woman. Again, these are to be offered in our sale on October the 25th and are remarkable in their use of gold and silver thread. I think the gorgeous use of green and orange with the use of metal thread would look wonderful framed. Thank you for joining us at Leighton House.